here. <laughs> well, we use a lot of selfie here, that's for sure. We do. You know and what? Hashtag. Carly is the selfie queen, though. She's not here today. Having Jenny is the years. selfie. So Jenny does. Jenny likes the selfies. True. We'll take a couple, maybe post some later. That's right. Right now, we want to talk about the weather. Get refocused here. You know, looking outside, it's not too bad. We do have some showers in the area this morning, so we're going to end 2013 on a wet note, at least this morning into the afternoon hours. And we do have a little bit of fog out there, but not a bad view of the city right now. In fact, it's very gorgeous. I love the lights. 39 degrees. We've been holding at 39 for the last couple of hours right now, and the winds have generally been light from the east northeast at about three miles per hour. Looking out towards Beaverton right now, you can see the roadways a little wet there with some of the light showers pushing through 38 degrees right now, and the winds are calm out towards Beaverton. So what we're looking at right here are the light showers. This is a weak frontal boundary that's pushing in. Not a lot of strength with it, so these showers are going to be light, and they are going to be pushing towards the east, south, and east through the morning hours. Another batch, though, up towards the north that's going to be pushing towards the south and east. So it looks like Portland, this band is going to go through within the morning. Then we're going to get a little bit of a break, and then the late morning, this band is going to come through, and those showers will be light as well. Now, out towards the east, a little bit of rain and snow mix along the I-84 corridor between Baker City and Pendleton this morning as we still have that cold air in place. Temperatures will go up, though, this afternoon, and we'll see all that change over tomorrow of shower mode. But we are still looking at some dense fog around the Pendleton area this morning, so just be aware of that. Temperature wise, we're starting in the upper 30s for most of us right now, one degree shy of 40 in Vancouver and also in Gresham. Out towards the coast, lower 40s right now, Story and Newport and uh, Salem this morning, starting at 38 degrees. The Dow, you're still holding at 31, so we could see some patchy freezing fog this morning, so be aware of that as you head out. 36 degrees in Bend. So here's the planner for today. On and off showers, this will not be a washout by any means. While well, highs today get to around 43 degrees tonight, though, we'll start to see these showers starting to taper off through about 5 o'clock, maybe a little drizzle by 7 p.m. And by the time you're heading out for uh, the parties tonight to start off for your New Year's Eve festivities, we'll stay mostly cloudy. Some fog redeveloping by midnight. The official forecast 39 degrees as you're toasting the champagne. So be aware of the patchy dense fog that could uh, redevelop by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at the rain forecast for today. Again, not really showing much. Our models are being a little bit shy on the rain this morning, so this is more filled in. So I am anticipating some widespread showers through the morning hours into the early afternoon hours. So you can follow the clock here by 3 p.m. Again, some showers still likely in the area, even though our models aren't seeing this. But then by the time we roll around to midnight, as we ring in 2014, I do think we'll be dry. Although it's not showing the fog in the clouds, we will still see mostly cloudy skies. Now tomorrow will be partly sunny. I think we'll wake up with some fog once again. I do think the fog will linger through a good part of the day. But as we get into Thursday, we have another cold front a little bit stronger that's going to start to pull through and that is going to bring the rain with it. So you notice by five o'clock in the late afternoon, we start to see those showers moving in. So what to expect with this system? It's mainly going to be a Thursday evening to a Friday morning event. It is going to bring some colder air, so those snow levels will start near 6,500 feet, but they'll drop to about 3,600 uh, feet by Friday morning. So we're looking at rain totals for the metro area and the coast range, maybe up to a quarter of an inch or so. Light accumulations in the mountains and the ski resorts, generally up to around one to four inches. So not a lot of snow, but still more than what we have been having for the last week or so. So as we detail, the next several days will be dry tomorrow and and then for Thursday, when that system comes in, that's going to bring us rain into Friday morning. Temperatures are generally going to stay between about 43 and 46 degrees. One warmer day, I should say Sunday at 47, but we're going to be back in that uh, routine where we have morning fog and afternoon clouds. All right, sounds very good. Thanks so much for that, Riley. It is 651.